Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to introduce you to HTML and CSS. Now, first of all, HTML. What is it? What does it do? Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and um, pretty much it's a markup language which means it's made up of tags or markup tags. And pretty much in HTML, a markup tag uh, it's going to be surrounded in triangular brackets or less than or greater than signs. So if we're just going to do a simple tag, we might open the triangular bracket, then we'll type in the tag keyword, for example, strong. Don't worry about what this does, we're not going to cover that yet. And then we can close the triangular bracket. So we now have a strong tag, and this is an opening strong tag. This means anything from here onwards until the closing strong tag is going to be in this strong section of the document. So we can say strong, and then we might type something in here. Um, for argument's sake, let's just type hello. And then to close the strong section, we'll just open our triangular brackets again. And this is usually the case what I'm just about to do, which is you type slash and then the keyword. So slash strong in this case is going to close the strong tag. So most of the time, opening tags are going to just be the keyword in triangular brackets. And most of the time, the closing tag is going to be slash that keyword in triangular brackets. So in this case, it turns out strong, I may as well tell you, it's pretty much just um, just like bolded text, but it isn't. There's also a bold tag, but it's deprecated and you shouldn't use it, blah, 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 blah. But pretty much it bolds text or emphasizes, puts emphasis on text. Now, if we just save this, so I've just done a command desk because I'm on a Mac. Note, by the way, you can code HTML and CSS any platform you want, Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever. As long as you can save documents um, or save text files, then you've pretty much got it. All I've done is I've saved this with the .html extension. So if you didn't know how to do that, it's, it's pretty simple. You probably should know how. Um, but if I just go Command S, and then, or if you're in Windows, Control S, and then, or obviously you can go to file save, or do whatever you like. I'm sure you know this, I'm, I'm going on about too much. And we just save as um, file name dot html, and the dot html extension is for html files. Uh, note also uh, that I called my uh, file I'm working on currently index.html, and this is just kind of the done thing for your, uh, for your home page. If you know the definition of the word index, then you'll know kind of how that makes sense. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Pretty much, these tags are going to specify different portions of the document, uh, which are going to have different styling elements applied to them and such. But how will we apply the styling? Now, this is where CSS comes in, because with HTML alone, you can create very structured, very nice looking markup, and markup's the name for a piece or all of uh, your HTML code or any markup language code, for example, XML. But CSS is going to do the styling. So back in the old days, we used to have uh, attributes for styling. So you might, um, for example, if you're going to do the body tag, you might use the BG color attribute and set that to red. And that would make your body background color red. Don't worry about what the body tag is yet. Again, we haven't gone over it. Um, but pretty much, as you can see, all I've done is I've made body opening tag then we have our strong tag, which contains hello, and then the end of our strong section, and then we end our body section. Uh, but yeah, we set this BG color attribute, and that used to mean that used to be kind of the way to set the background color to red. No longer now, CSS um, is really what you should be using to style everything. So let's say, for example, we did want to target this body tag. What we might do is you do this in a separate uh, CSS document, by the way. So this isn't going to work. What I'm just about to do, if you were going to actually just save it and try it. Um, but we type body because in this case we want to affect our body section of the document and then in curly brackets we specify um, what styling we want to apply so with CSS you usually write a property followed by a value and then a semicolon to show that you finished specifying this value so if I just let's not set the background color because I don't really want to go into that yet but we can write color and it has to be the American spelling to work and then you can specify a color either with words such as red or white or you can go ahead and give it a hex color um, such as FFF or I don't want to confuse anyone Ugh. that's the proper hex value for it and that's white and that's black or zeros but if you don't know about hex colors obviously don't worry about that But 
this lesson really is just an introduction, so I'm going to try not to really give you any examples you can use yet because they're going to come um, in the lessons following this one, which are going to be HTML basics and then CSS basics. But uh, just one more note on HTML before I leave you. Um, any text which is just kind of text, this isn't in a tag or anything, that actually displays on the page. So if we just save index.html here and we just have simple body tags. In fact, we don't really need these anymore for the uh, example that we're doing. So we just have strong, hello, slash strong. If you then double click your HTML file or open it in a web browser, which you probably know how to do, then you'll see we then have hello emphasized um, in our web browser. Because I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I'm, I was kind of assuming you knew, but HTML and CSS are for creating uh, web pages and content for the web. So, anywho, that's the end of this introduction lesson. Uh, I suggest you go out and check out the next few lessons, which will tell you a lot more about actually creating some basic stuff with it. So, that's the end, and have a nice day.